Okay, here we go again. Carrying on from the previous video, I showed you the chart of accounts, how to access the chart of accounts, view them, filter the information. Go ahead and watch that video if you've joined the series here. Just to mention again, head over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, because the videos are in order. If you've joined here, you can go back to the beginning. Or if you're struggling to find the next video in line, just go over to my website and watch the videos from there. It's much easier. Okay, how do we add a new nominal account to the general ledger here? How do we add a new code to the chart of accounts? Quite simply, at the top, we have add account. If I click on that, we can fill in the details of the account that we wish to put on zero and click save and then it will be added. The hardest part of this is the account type. If you don't have a finance accounting background, then knowing the account type can be the hardest part of adding a new account. But there is this handy um, sort of graphic to the right here that does provide some insight, kind of breaks down the different types and where they will appear on the profit and loss and the balance sheet. If you are struggling, feel free to drop me an email. I do offer email support for zero. There is links on my website. Hopefully you can find what you're looking for though. Let's say we want to add a new sales account. So under here, there should be a type for sales. Let's scroll through. Here we go. Sales right at the bottom. It's under revenue. We have sales. We need to add a code for sales. So I could put any code in I want, just as long as it's not a code already in use. You can't have two nominal codes that are the same. So this one's going to be 4,000. We give a name to the nominal accounts. Let's do sales, or well, let's actually do shop sales. So this code and this name is the code and name that appears on the list of the chart of accounts. You can now give a description. So if it's going to be helpful to have some sort of description what this code is used for, then you can enter that here. It's totally optional. You don't have to put the information in. But let's just do sales from shop on bookkeeping street premises B. We then have our tax settings down here. So if the transactions going to this account are likely to have VAT on, sales tax on, you can set the amount here. If there's going to be no tax, you can select tax. Don't worry, this is not set in stone. Every transaction that's booked to this code, you have the option whether to put the sales tax on, the VAT on or not. Um, it's just a default to help things uh, be a bit quicker in future. If most transactions to this account will have sales tax, will have VAT, you can select that here. And that's the default that will appear on transactions put to this account. But like I said, that default can be changed. It's not set in stone. If I save this, then under 4,000 here, we have our shop sales with our 20%. VAT. The balance is currently zero because no transactions have been allocated to this nominal account yet. If I want to edit this account or any of the accounts on the chart of accounts, I simply just click on it. I'm taken to a very similar screen as adding the new account and I can edit the information. If I want to change the code, change the name, change the description, I can do that. So if we want this to actually be 4001 sales, sales shop A, I can do that. I can save, that has now been updated. And I can do that with most of the accounts here on the chart of accounts. So that's the chart of accounts for now. We may come back to this later on. In the next video, we're going to move on to customers. Let's look at the list. It's going to be customer accounts, 
adding and viewing customers, raising sales invoices, editing sales invoices. That's going to be the theme for the next four videos. We'll move on to supplies then, and then bank accounts, recording payments, expenses, receipts, sales, that sort of thing. Okay, I'll speak to you in the next video.